What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now Plus, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about a Deus Ex game very early in development. Now, one thing I want to start this off, and I've mentioned this before, I have respect for Jason Schreier in terms of like a reporter and what he knows from like the, you know, the, the leaking community, being an insider and all that stuff. Normally, things tend to become almost gospel when he speaks it, but not when people before him speak it. So, the news of today is just that, that Deus Ex, you know, he says that a Deus Ex game is in very early development at Eidos Montreal. We had kind of known that. Um, we had known that actually for several months now, primarily because of Jeff Grubb. Jeff Grubb has said it quite often as well, uh, amongst other people. And I just want to throw that out there. These leakers tend to have egos um, about themselves and all that stuff, but we have mentioned it here and there. When Jason Trier says something, it becomes like, okay, obviously now it's confirmed, but other people said it way before him, and so for him to get all the credit, I think is laughable because it shouldn't be that way, but... This is part of quite a few things that have gone on with Embracer Group. So remember, Embracer Group acquired a couple different studios from Square Enix for $300 million. Remember, the story was they kind of <laughs> they actually made out great in the deal because they got a lot of properties, I think like 40-plus properties, for $300 million, which in this economy is really not all that bad. In fact, it's a really good deal for them. Uh, and in this thing that's just happened, they actually shut down a studio, the studio that was behind the Hitman Go franchise, or the ones who did a lot of the the phone games or the you know the mobile games. And I, I think I saw somewhere. I don't think it's mentioned in the uh, Video Game Chronicle article. They're moving more towards like they just want PC and consoles, which actually, I mean, I like that mentality. Um, I you know mobile stuff. You know, I I definitely don't care about it whatsoever. I get that it's a big market, and they're just different kinds of gamers than than people like me. So that's that's okay. But they're closed and. So some of the team there was offered roles in other studios and then it basically just became a story about Eidos Montreal in that they canceled the Stranger Things inspired game again Jeff Grubb had brought that up a kids on bike game that was rumored that game has been canceled they're now working on a new IP a brand new game that was recently re-scoped whatever that means uh, and then they're also working on a Deus Ex game that's very very so two varies early in development and they're also helping out specifically with Xbox. They're, they're working with Microsoft with Xbox games, uh, and the notable one that it can actually be named is Fable. So they're doing a lot of different stuff there, um, and, and that's great. Honestly, they're a very, very talented team. They're a team, obviously, that I really want to work on Deus Ex. Let's get back into that franchise because that franchise rocks. Honestly, I, I really hope we haven't seen the last of Guardians of the Galaxy. I love that game. Obviously, that game you know kind of came out and surprised a lot of people. It didn't sell outrageously well, but to be honest, Embracer and their studios, I mean, none of their games really sell you know amazingly well, so it kind of fits in with them. But but they are keeping busy, right, working on three games, a brand new thing of their own creation, a Deus Ex game, which, I mean, if you look at very, very early, also it's second on the list, I mean, five, six, seven years, like, do we have to wait? We're going to have to wait till the next console generation to get back to Deus Ex, so that kind of sucks. And they're going to, basically, part of them is a support studio for Xbox games. So keeping themselves busy, and that's the news there. So kind of sucks that, you know, these studios get bought, and then one of them gets shut down just a few months after they were bought. But ultimately... I mean, you kind of can understand it. Somebody, you know, a big company buys these smaller, you know, studios, looks at them, you know, analyzes them and says, well, like, what can we do with you? And do we really need that studio? Well, we like the talent, but we maybe don't need the team. I mean, I can see how you how you get there. And ultimately, if the plan almost is like to make Eidos Montreal just really big because you're putting another team, some of the other team into this studio, this could be a very big team. And you're going to need it to be if they're working on, at least two things at once, right? Making their own game, helping Microsoft. Maybe you have a, a very small team concepting uh, like a Deus Ex thing. If you're working on two, three things at a time, you need a studio that's got, I mean, several hundred, I'd imagine, like at least 150, 200 employees. That's what you'd probably need. So if they're not, I don't know how much they have, but if they're not there yet, they would probably need to get there rather soon. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, are you excited for the eventual release of a Deus Ex game? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, so you know when all these videos go up. And I hope to see you all on the next one.